It's 7 p.m. in Jerusalem. Traffic is still heavy. Commuters are on their way to the suburbs. Behind the first windows, the lights are on. Those who haven't said their afternoon prayers still have until sunset to do so. The shadows are growing longer, and the city evening might get cold. The temperature is around 12 degrees. In his bakery, Guy Avichael checks orders for the following day. Hagit Ofran drives around and monitors the politics of the streets. Shagao Gitahun is on his way to synagogue. Jerusalem became a divided city in 1948. The west was a part of Israel, the east part of Jordan. After the Six-Day War, Israel occupied the east and later declared all of Jerusalem to be the capital. After bomb attacks and assassinations during the Second Intifada, the Israeli government built a security fence. It cuts the West Bank and the Gaza Strip off from Israel. In Jerusalem, the fence is a concrete wall. In parts, it follows the city limits. In parts, it sprawls deep into the West Bank. Some Arab quarters are behind the wall. Those who want to get to the other side have to pass a checkpoint. Two hours of shopping left to go at the Mahane Yehuda market in West Jerusalem. In front of the Kalandia checkpoint on the other side of the wall, drivers are waiting to get into Jerusalem. Traders have specialized to cater to their needs. They sell coffee and DVDs for the evening to those waiting. Where the DVDs were made remains a mystery. For decades, Watsim Razouk's family has had a business in the old city. It's right behind the Jaffa Gate, the main entrance to the old city for tourists and pilgrims from the west. In the morning, Watsim works at the representative office of Canada in Ramallah. In the afternoon and evening, he does tattoos. In between the two, he drives a Harley Davidson. But wherever he goes, the next border is never far away. Hagit Ofran monitors the situation in East Jerusalem and on the West Bank for the Israeli movement Peace Now. In particular, the activities of radical Jewish settlers 
and the situation at the wall itself. היה פה ניסוי של משרד הביטחון, שמו איזה צבע, שהגרפיטי נמחק ממנו, אבל ירדו מזה. החומה הזאת? לא, החומה הזאת לא תחזיק הרבה שנים. אין לה שום היגיון אורבני, גיאוגרפי. זה פשוט, זה לב של שכונה. אנחנו היום לא רואים את זה, אבל בעצם... היו פה אלפי אנשים כל יום שעברו כאן, כל יום באופן רגיל, מהבית לבית ספר, מ... לעבודה, לקניות, הכל. עכשיו, אין. זה, זה עשה מהפכה פה בכל, ה... בכל החיים, אבל זה כל כך לא טבעי, זה כל כך לא מתאים לאזור. Jerusalem branch of the Harley Davidson Club, it doesn't matter who's a Jew, a Muslim, or a Christian, or who's a non-believer. The only thing that counts is the machine you're riding. The bakery of Guy Avichael and his father is in Mea Sharim. the ultra-Orthodox Jewish quarter. Aaron, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Hi, guy. Good evening. Good evening. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Everything is good. Yes, the people, the people, the people, the people. The people, the people, the people. The people, the people, the people. Is there a place for this? Thank you. What's going on? Yes, you can see here a picture of my father. שהוא למעשה היה מייסד המאפייה. הוא עלה ארצה בשנות ה-20. אבא שלי לקח את המקום הזה וייסד פה מאפייה, והתחיל לאפות דברים ולייצר דברים, עד עם סבא שלי ואבא שלי, והנה אפילו הבן שלי אחר כך התחיל לבוא. הוא למד בבית ספר. היה בצבא, סיים את הצבא ואמר, אני רוצה לבוא לעבוד במאפייה. אני רוצה להמשיך, להיות דור ההמשך. והנה, אתה רואה, אני, מה שהוא רצה, בירכתי, אתה יודע, הוא רוצה להמשיך. ואני חשבתי על כך שצריך להיות דור המשך. ככה זה צריך להיות. and his friends are heading towards the Mount of Olives. In the Judean desert, lawyer Shlomo Lecker is heading to his last appointments. His clients are Bedouins. At the Ambassador Hotel, celebrations start after sunset. Musicians come from the north, from Arca, a harbor town of the Mediterranean, and they still have to tune their instruments. Hagit Ofran wants to explore a house in East Jerusalem. A movement called Ateret Kohanim has taken it over. Their rabbi is the spiritual leader of radical settlers who want to colonize the Arabic east of the city. Gal 
Ogi Tahun is an Israeli Jew with Ethiopian roots. His parish synagogue is in the neighborhood, in West Jerusalem. To hold a service, a quorum of at least 10 men have to come together. In Hebrew, Minyan. Looking down on Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives, the city seems small and the people tiny. It would appear at first glance as if all problems could easily be solved. Jerusalem, it's, it's a beautiful site. Jerusalem is really beautiful. When I was younger, I used to come with my friends and sometimes we used to drink also and sit and just look at Jerusalem. But I never uh, thought that I will come one day with my Harley and with my friends <laughs> and the Harley. You'll never dream about it. To stand here and to talk about it. Jerusalem to my um, Harley friends. But seriously, I think we've, uh, we have uh, made beautiful, uh, beautiful steps together with uh, riding together all the time. And we showed uh, how, uh, how we united we can be. We, we don't talk politics, of course. No. We only talk Harley Davidson. But let's uh, maybe the Harley Davidson spirit can spread to the people and see how, uh, how beautiful unity can be. And uh, you know, all the politics can go on the side. And, okay. and we, the people, can live our, our life. We can live, we can live with peace, just prove it. Yeah. The road before the sun goes, do some more riding a little bit with the guys. And, uh, okay. Where do you go now? Just to ride. Just to ride. The ambassador lies in the east of Jerusalem. The band performing this evening is called Walat. It combines Arab music with reggae and Latin influences to create modern Palestinian pop music. But first, the sound check. Shiarim is 15 minutes on foot from the ambassador. Shagao's father died a few weeks ago. He took over his role of Gabai the rabbi's assistant. What's this? In the church. What is the relationship with this? You have to go to the church like a rabbi. All the time and that's it. It's a matter of fact. Sometimes I'm looking for them. The people who come to the church are always important to you. לא הייתי ממש כזה, אבל עכשיו הבנתי. גם, וגם בלי קשר לזה גם הייתי שומר שבתות והכול, אבל הפעם אני רוצה כמה שיותר קרוב אליו. כן, נראה לי היום דווקא כן יש מניין. מלא על יש מניין. Min gurbe 
ثبت هالوجود والله يا عم ناقص داير على الحدود بدور على حبت عن نقطة صابي ضاع من الهاوي حبت عن نقطة صابي ضاع من الهاوي שלום וברכה. אנחנו מטיילים פה קצת. למה? למה? צלמי, מה הולך פה? לא, אבל מאיפה אתם? מי אתם? מה זה משנה? אנחנו מישראל. אני ירושלמית. צוות. לא, אתם עומדים פה כאילו. עמדנו לרגע, אנחנו ניסע, נחזור, כן. רוצים לנסוע לראות את הבית של עטרת כהנים. Shalev is the author of international bestsellers, the best-known writer in Israel. Her novels often take place in Jerusalem. Shalom Oleka represents Bedouins at Israeli courts. It's mostly about land for his clients. אני, בגלל ש... בגלל הפציעה שלי, אז אני לא יכולה לרוץ. אז זאת בעיה. זהו, הכל מתחבר. לא, האמת שלמדתי לסמוך עליו, אבל... אולי אם אתה תיתן לנו, אז נעבור. אנחנו רוצים רק לראות את הבית של ה... את הבתים של עטרת כהנים פה. למה? אין אישור, אז אפשר להיכנס. אבל הם יכולים לעבור. מי? אלה שגרים פה. אלה שגרים. והאורחים שלהם וזה, אז הוא הולך לראות בית. אם אין אישור... ממי? מי מאשר? הם מרשים. ואומרים שאתם באתם אליהם, אז יש אישור. אם אין לכם אישור, אתם לא יכולים להיכנס. הם קובעים מי ייסע להם בכביש? אבל אתה עושה מה שהמתנחלים אומרים לך? לא. יש לי, ש... יש לי הוראות כן. מלמעלה. מה, שאני... מה שכתוב לי אני עושה. מה שלא כתוב לי, לא עושה. מצטער. Nine men have gathered in Shagao's synagogue. The tenth is still missing. What are you looking for? Let's go, let's go, friend. Let's go, let's go. 
When not enough believers gather, he'll sometimes ask a passerby to join in on the prayer. Zuria Shalev was born in a kibbutz in Kinneret, in the north of Israel. This <laughs> בעיר הזאת. אני נודדת בה מדירה לדירה כבר... אה, כבר... היי! יותר מ-30 שנה, מאז, ש... מאז שבאתי לירושלים אה, אה, כחיילת, ב... ב... בעצם לקראת סוף השירות הצבאי, הגעתי הנה, ו... ומאז אני כאן. התחלתי ללמוד כאן ו... והיכיתי שורשים. הכל אצלכם מובן, ברור, אתם יודעים? בסדר, אני אשים 20 בשק ו-16 בשק. Guy Avichail has started early at the bakery, around 5 a.m. Before he leaves the bakery for the rest of the day to his father and the employees, he has to sort out some personnel issues. The bakery opens early and closes late. Between Thursday and Friday, it's open all through the night, when bread is baked for the Sabbath. Nine years ago, 
Zoria Shalev was on her way home in the morning when a suicide attack had detonated a bomb.
7.30 p.m. The sun is setting and the evening begins. Those who haven't yet done their afternoon prayers will get another chance tomorrow. The streets of the old city calm down. Tourists and pilgrims retreat to their hotels and hostels. They search the city guides, looking for restaurants. In the suburbs and districts, TVs come on. In the news, the day is looking back at itself. It's 11 degrees. Shlomo Leka has completed his last appointment with Bedouins in the desert. Khelda Shekali is invited to a wedding, but before that, he sees the barber. <laughs> Esther Schimberg has completed her shopping. She wants to throw a party. In the long term, the Oslo Peace Treaty foresaw two states in the Holy Land. Palestine was to be created next to Israel in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. In 1995, transitory areas were established, areas that still exist today. A areas are under Palestinian control. Israel and Palestine share control of the B areas. C areas are solely controlled by Israel. In the West Bank, the sea areas cover about 60% of the land. Around 120 Jewish settlements and outposts have been built here. West Jerusalem, the evening programs start in cinemas. Oblivion has opened, a film with Tom Cruise. In it, Earth is destroyed after a war between humans and aliens. The formerly blue planet is inhabited only by drones. While most residents in the city are looking forward to an evening at the movies, or a book, or a few hours with the family, Danny Hortenberg's day is about to begin. He's a paramedic, working for Magen David Adon, the Israeli equivalent to the Red Cross or the Red Crescent. He's 37 years old and has had 20 years on the job. His night shift begins at 9 p.m. The Shuafat refugee camp in East Jerusalem was once a row of single-story houses. Then, for lack of alternatives, every generation added another story. At the camp, nobody asks for structural safety or building permits. Mohammed Mukhrabi grew up on the ground floor and put his flat on the second floor. Welcome. Above his parents and brother. This is my apartment. This is going to be the kitchen. And I have two rooms here, and a bathroom, 
and uh, I have a small studio on the other side and you must see the view here. It's amazing. From here also you can see uh, Pisgat Ze'ev, the Israeli settlement. It's just there. Like if I stand here and somebody stands on, a, on the window in the settlement, we can see each other. But we also have the wall in between. Yeah, there's a guy who's looking for a parking here in the refugee camp. There's lots of people who live here. It's a two kilometer square. There's a more than 70,000 people living here. Yeah, and most of them have cars and don't have parkings. <laughs> Amazing. A few houses down in the refugee camp, Khalid Shekali gets his hair done by Abu Malik, his regular barber. I started practicing. As part of Area C, the Judean Desert in the West Bank is under Israeli control. For Shlomo Lekha's clients, the Bedouins, there's less and less space. In this area, the, the contradiction uh, between what Israelis, the settlers have, and what the Palestinians have, and especially the Bedouins have, is so deep. It's so, uh, there's a big cry about how, how can uh, a state that calls itself a democratic uh, uh, keep uh, the, this political situation as it is and, and not to give uh, rights to the Bedouins who were, were never really fighting Israel. They were not an enemy. And it's uh, something that, uh, also I deal with it for so many years, I still emotionally feel that uh, it's, it's, it's very disturbing to me. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like uh, we are getting into better times uh, in the near future. They suffer and, they, and there's a lot of harassment, but there's something about the way they live uh, that keeps them calm, and, uh, and many of them actually like the way they live. They, li they like the, the distance from the city, they like the, the weather, the atmosphere, the, uh, the change of light, and uh, they don't speak this way because, uh, you know, most of them are simple people who the older generation never studied, but, uh, but when you talk to them, uh, you hear that they can be very romantic about where they live.
Jaffa Street in the west of the city, evening business has begun. Esther Schimberg has invited a few friends to a bracha party. They meet and bless the gifts of God. Israel Campbell's family is celebrating his return from the U.S. Party und ich bereite die Segensprüche vor sozusagen. Bevor wir essen, machen wir einen Segenspruch und die verschiedenen Arten von Essen äh, repräsentieren die verschiedenen Segensprüche, die wir heute sagen werden. Und da bereite ich die, das Essen sozusagen vor. Klasse. Ich dekoriere das immer so gern und will, dass das schön aussieht heute Abend für die Mädels. Weil es kommt hier ein Mädchen, sie ist eine Kala. Sie hat sich verlobt. Und um sie ein bisschen zu ehren und ihr Freude zu schenken, mache ich das auch ein bisschen extra schön heute. Weil es ist eine Mitzvah, ein positives Gebot, eine Kala Freude zu bereiten. Das ist für euch ein Grund zu feiern, wenn ein Mädchen sich verlobt hat? Auf jeden Fall, weil es ist ein neues Kapitel in ihrem Leben. Äh, neuer Abschnitt, das ist auf jeden Fall was Besonderes, weil Mann und Frau gehören zusammen und ähm, es, es ist auch eine Freude, die wir mit ihr teilen. Oh. You did? Oh, but can I show you the fish that's in the tank? There's really a fish in yes, the tank? Yes, there's one rash. It's mine, it's mine. It's mine, We have to clean this tank. Yeah, there's no more bubbles. Everything I don't know how they survive. This fish no deserves. It's like we up gave up on this fish. I had like a hundred guppies in here. And the guy at the fish store said, oh, just take them all out, clean the tank. It'll take about 15 minutes. It took about four hours, and 95 of the hundred fish died. And then another five. Then over the next few months, the next five died, and we gave up. I put a cover on it. So people, I just thought, someday I'll clean the water out, but I don't have time. Months ago, haven't fed it, turned off the filter, everything. There's a fish in there. That fish is Jewish. <laughs> At Abu Malik's salon, hair is cut while the clients chat. Conversation often revolves around papers and permits. The Israeli administration has decreed regulations for Arab residents on who is permitted to live or build where, if wives from the West Bank may enter Jerusalem or not. Würdest du denn zu nicht religiösen Partys gehen? Das habe ich früher gemacht, aber das mache ich nicht mehr. Also es kommt drauf an, kommt auf den Anlass an. Wenn der Anlass darum geht, einfach Mädchen, Jungs gemischt und Alkohol und Drogen, das macht mir keinen Spaß. Ich finde das ein bisschen leer. Das, was ich jetzt habe, gefällt mir besser. Habe ich gewählt für mich. Darfst du Alkohol trinken, ist du? Auf jeden Fall. Im, Im richtigen Rahmen, im richtigen Ort. 
zur richtigen Zeit. Weil im Talmud, der sagt ja, äh, wenn Wein reinkommt, kommen Geheimnisse raus. Und das wird unprofessionell. Jim Hollander is a photographer. He looks at today's bounty. Afterwards, he wants to go home for dinner. So you made salsa? Yeah, I made salsa. Shlomo Lecker is on his way back to Jerusalem. Here, Moram Mizrahi is getting ready for the evening after a stressful day. Always good to have coffee after work. For a press photographer, says Jim Hollander, Jerusalem is a good place. He sends his photographs to clients in Europe and the US. How do you search for the right picture? Well, I'm searching now, and I can't really decide whether to use one of these or not. Uh, what I'm working on now is a Palestinian boy looking at all the, the poster, the main poster, which showed probably over 100, 150 prisoners who are from Jerusalem that are in Israeli jails. So that was the prisoner demonstration to release these prisoners. So the main poster, you'll see, you know, all these little headshots. So there's a boy looking. He, one of his relatives is probably in there, a father, an uncle, a cousin, something. That's why he was there. Everybody who was there has somebody who's a prisoner. That's the people who were protesting. So now I'm working on the picture, um, processing the image to get color balance and contrast balance. And the prisoner release demonstration has been going on for months. For the last month, every Friday, there's been a lot of clashes, stone throwing demonstrations. You know, it's, it's a story, what we call a story. Try this. Oops. Now I'll buy you on the top again. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. Ready? Turn it on again, Yona Dovey. Turn it on. Yeah. Push Wait, it one up. Sec, Ralph. Now turn this up. All the way up to 10. What is this uh, green uh, juice? I turned it off. So it's kale, orange, banana, and ice. And I started drinking it like last summer instead of having three bowls of cereal every morning, consisting of honey nut Cheerios. Is it good? <laughs> I usually use it for breakfast. Abba! Yes. <coughs> There's chunks in it. A, there's chunks in it? Chunks. Can you do it a bit more? Little chunks? I don't have to chew it anymore. It's a little chunky. Want some? Yeah. It's chunky. It's chunky, because I didn't I didn't leave it on long enough. It's do you like it, Yellow Dog? Like a minute, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, is it good? How long was it on? Like two yeah. minutes. More. Is it good, you want dummy? You want some more? No. Done. Done. Is it tasting? Yes. Okay, so remember, I'm going to go do a show tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And then when you wake up, I'll be here, okay? Yes. When I'm soon as going to be for all the time, and I don't yeah. see that be here all the time. You don't want Shannon to be here all the time? No. So I'm home now, so I'll take you to Ghana every morning, okay? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Have fun. Abu Malik's clients are mostly Muslims. Those that want to attend Friday prayer at the Al-Aqsa Mosque are required to have reached a certain age or the police won't let them in. And this is when they started to march away, and then the police came down the street, and there were a lot of people in the way. I was on the other side. Here you have a little bit of them running, but there's a photographer here, a friend of mine. But nothing's happening. I mean, they're chasing people, but, you know, he's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I could crop him out, but still, I, it doesn't really say much to me. It's just mm -hmm. a soldier running, a policeman running down the street. Then this thing with the flag, which is a picture I'm going to work on. So here is a little difficult, which do you, you know, you can't really see it's a flag, and I don't like the way the feet are. Possibly this, because you see the Star of David, and you see the horse poop here, and the kid with a, a hoodie on, sort of nice. And then something starts to happen now, and I sort of like this because you get this horseshoe of kids' sneakers. You can tell they're kids. And here's where he's stepping on it. You can see it's a flag, and you see the horse poop. So that's the one I want to use. And then, boom, the soldiers come right, the police come running down. I look up and everybody's scattering, but it's a little too wide and doesn't do much for me. <laughs> Ms. Rahi got up at half past five, had a long day at work, and now needs some entertainment. She wants to return to Mahane Yehuda, the market in West Jerusalem, where the traders disappear at night when the bars open. <laughs> Yeah. 
small shops in the West are closing. The large supermarkets and shopping centers are still open. Guards are posted and security doors are installed at every entrance for fear of attacks. That is my nicest picture. Alles, was vom Baum kommt. Frucht, weil Frucht ist eben Früchte. Unsere Kinder, das sind unsere Früchte. Früchte un unseres Lebens. Unsere nächste Generation. Und deren Kinder sind, weil das ist, das ist so ein Kreislauf. Wie mit, mit den Bäumen und den Früchten und den Samen und, und den Bäumen und den Früchten und den Samen. Dann haben wir hier Borel Priha Geffen. Traubensaft und Wein ist gut für Sivugim, um den Ehepartner zu finden. Stop saying you're mine. 